Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to another Valley Forged. And today we're talking again about the X Tool P2. And just to you know, make it clear, I have no connections to X Tool. They have not paid me, sent me anything. So I'm doing this review purely for information purposes, not to like sway anybody to do anything. But I think on this channel, I try to update people and show people what's going on in lasers. And uh, so if you're into that, like and subscribe and all that. And, uh, you know, even though I've added a lot of information here, there'll be a lot more information coming out. So, you know, feel free to add that in the comments and let me know. Just try to do it in a pleasant way because, hey, I'm providing this information for free and, you know, I do the best I can. I did a video about it about a week ago and have since learned way more information. It seems like they actually watched my video and answered the questions on their own website, which is kind of cool. Maybe I wasn't the only one who had those initial questions. But first and foremost, I'm gonna go over the things that I had wrong in the first video. And it's, it's fair, I didn't really have the information. Uh, on some of it, I, I should have done a little bit more research, but I got excited, you know, I wanted to share everybody that this was coming out. And uh, one of the things is it's called the P2. I should have realized they had a version one, I guess. Uh, you put in X tool P1, nothing's gonna come up. They did have something called a laser box or laser box pro, which was what looks like a Gweeky cloud or uh, Glowforge or something. And it really seems to be almost exactly like that. Now, the funny thing is, is I had never even heard of this and it seemed to have been pretty quiet, but it, if you watch the videos on it, it seems like a very good machine. So I'm not exactly sure. I, I felt like I was going to dive into it, but then I'm like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to spend more time on the new thing. But I'm guessing there was a few things about it that weren't quite right because it really looked pretty amazing. And as you can see, you can get a refurbished one still uh, for sale for $3,000 if you're kind of interested in going that way. But they've also have a trade-in. So if you bought one of these laser boxes, you can trade it in for the new P2. So uh, I'll pop that up right here, but you can also, I'll, I'll show you how to get to that as well. So on their official site, they have made some changes. Uh, here is a video that will show you some of those changes right away. Now, as you can see, it has unlimited pass-through, automatic pass-through. So that means that you could pretty much do as long as you want. I think they're saying like eight feet, but it's really, I guess, unlimited with a conveyor belt that'll push it back and forth. Now, how well that will work, we'll see. How many ups and extras do you got to buy to be able to get that? Uh, because you can push it through, but you can see there's... there's uh, there's add-ons that you have on either side. Are those going to come with it? You've got to buy extra. I'm sure all of those questions will be answered and are answered. I went through some of it already on the Facebook page. So if you guys have Facebook, you can go there and you will see they are going to do a live stream uh, tomorrow. I saw that on here. So go to their... The, their official Facebook page, I will put that in the description and you can go and, you know, look and find out what's the latest information. What did I miss? Because this does seem like quite a capable machine with this unlimited pass through if it works correctly.
And again, you know, is it going to be cost effective? All those things we won't find out till it launches, but it seems really cool. Uh, now, what I have found out that the pass through is a little bit less than two feet. You know, it's 23 point something inches. We'll get to that at the bottom. So if you want to do something exactly two feet, well, you can't, but that's kind of sad. But I think, you know, even being able to do it a foot and a half or whatever is, is pretty capable. You're going to be able to do some pretty amazing things with this if it pans out to be uh, all that it's cracked up to be. Again, this curved surface engraving, also very interesting because it has a dual camera design with kind of makes it able to do 3D. And that's pretty neat too. So we'll see how that's all going to work out. And uh, again, very promising, right? Again, I had already mentioned compatible with RA2 Pro that, you know, that's a, that's a plus uh, because I've ha heard pretty, pretty good things about that. It is compatible with Lightburn, which is important. And the two 16 megapixel times two cameras. Uh, that is pretty cool with a precision of 0 0.3 millimeters. Now, what I brought up in the Facebook is the ability to do print and cut. Now, I myself have had a silhouette machine. Many of you maybe have a Cricut. You want to do stickers. You want to do business cards. You want to do different kinds of things that those are really good at. Um, and maybe you can't do that currently on your laser machine, but with a really precise camera that can do print, you can print things out and then you can line it up on your laser perfectly because of the cameras. You should be able to do what is called print and cut. And uh, I think that is a huge benefit. Now, any of you out there that has a very precise camera and light burn can do that, but it is not easy many times. So that may be something that's really, really nice. Now, again, they have a uh, little contests here and there that you can sign up for to lower your price. And, you know, they're saying if you pre-order, you're going to be able to get it quite a bit cheaper. And as I mentioned in the last one, 55 watt CO2 laser is really closer to maybe a 40 watt laser because you can't run it at 100% power. Uh, I believe that's still going to be true for this. But I can pretty much guarantee you the spot size for this laser is going to be much better than the 40 watt X tool uh, D1. So the Pro, excuse me, that would be an X tool uh, D1 Pro 40 watt. Uh, it should be much better than that. Uh, how it works for the autofocus is also something that um, is very interesting. So how is your focus going to work? Uh, I'm not sure about that yet. Now, remember the huge benefit of having a CO2 laser, uh, amongst other things, because you got a much deeper focusing uh, level, but also you're going to be able to do acrylic. You're going to be able to mark on glass. It shows that you could do like, uh, what, 18 millimeter uh, walnut, something like that. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm going to say, okay, it does 12 millimeter walnut, but uh, that's pretty much good enough for me. I'm not trying to make furniture out of this. So overall, it looks like a pretty uh, great machine. Uh, I Again, we won't know until it comes out, but I just wanted you to have all the information that I had. So again, if you love lasers, you are in the right place. You're on the right channel. And uh, let me know in the comments if there's things that I, not just that I miss, but that you're looking for when you're looking at this type of machine or any type of laser machine. And uh, I'll see you soon. All right, love y'all. Well, they say all good things come to an end. What's that got to do with this show? <laughs>